Oh, IRS. Yeah, the IRS is already aware of their assets, so you could do it. It would be very unpopular with those affiliates. Well, not all of them, because Warren Buffett and Bill Gates already promised that they're going to give 95% of their wealth away to charity. So they're giving pretty much everything away. Catherine? Yes. There is a slight possibility it might take more than four years. But I think by four years from now, it's it'll probably be back to normal. Yeah. That's a possibility. In the next four years, I would give you the chances of us having a double dip recession right now at probably 50 50. <laughs> I think within the next four years, we're 50 50 for having another recession. I think most economists would really agree. Because right now our growth is incredibly capital, you know, very slow, which makes it easier for you to decline anyway. And there's so many things that could lead to a decline. Like if, if inflation starts picking up, like with higher gas prices, things like that, I mean, it makes it very easy for us to have that double down. Yeah. When I'm talking about back to normal, I'm talking about back to Clinton era type of growth. Assuming things are set up properly with three to four percent growth, which should be the reaction as we get out of our recession. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's kind of funny to think about natural disasters because in some ways they hurt us because they're getting rid of our capital and everything. But ironically, natural disasters tend to stimulate the economy. Like, I, well, no, because it totally doesn't make sense that it would. But then there's all this money that flows in. There's federal disaster aid to build up the area and everything like that. And so it actually, in the short term, like 9-11, Everyone always says, oh, we had a recession because of September 11th. September 11th actually brought us out of the recession in 2001. It was that September quarter when they were encouraging you know, them to sell all these cars at 0% interest and everything. That pushed us out of the recession in 2001. Not that it was much of a recession anyway, but it was September 11th that ironically brought us out of the recession. <laughs> Yeah, to say, because all that they would have had to do in September, after September was what they did after September 11th. They shot the heck out of the money supply. They boosted the money supply like crazy. But Bush didn't stop there. He said, oh, to make this economy really do well, we need to give all these extra tax cuts to the French, which, you know, expanded the deficit. Oh, we're going to increase all these government spending programs. And so they added fiscal expansion when the economy was already growing. So kind of like, you know, the reverse of what you're supposed to do when I was always talking about it. When times are booming, you know, higher taxes, less government spending. And they said, oh, things are booming. More government spending, less taxes. Uh, and more money supply. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would actually say the opposite. I think with the current Republicans that are running, I would, at this point, I'd say Obama has at least a 70% chance of being reelected. Because they're just running any Republicans. Mine's really poorly. Of the people that are around, although I, I thought that there was no way that that idiot George W. Bush was going to get elected, so I could be, I could be wrong. The, the, the people always have the infinite ability to surprise you. Yes, Kathy? Anybody have a message? No. I, and see, that's the kind of thing that steps in the way because we're getting to peak oil. So if the economy increases, unless we've had a lot of new technologies that are gonna increase the oil, a better economy means gas prices go up. So the, so actually, if you wanna talk about saving money at the tank, the economy going down is actually a good thing because it lowers gas prices. Because the more, more industry that you're running, the more you need those fossil fuels. Great questions. <laughs> so, for the purposes of your test, AS, we're going to leave unchanged, even if Chandler's making you usually go to the right, and AD, 
What do you think is going to happen? If they lower interest rates, if you're lower, if you're increasing the money supply, and you're, you know, and you're lowering interest rates, are people going to buy more stuff or less? Stuff? When are you going to be more likely to buy a house if it's expensive? You got it. Yes, I should put that on. Believe me with the time. All right. One of your classmates uh, sent me an interesting video. In fact, it doubles up some of the stuff I was telling you, which is ironic since I made this uh, PowerPoint a while ago. But, uh... <laughs> So, and this is made by people that have fairly different political beliefs than I do, but for the reasons why we have to crash. Yes. So, first you have to do, imagine there's no trail. Hopefully that will be also fairly helpful for you. I'll tell you about some of my successes and failures, but... Thank you. 